Welcome back. If delicious food, baked goods, and craft beer sound good to you, then we have just the spot for you in Greenville. It just opened up. This is really yeah. something new. It's the first of its kind in the area. It's called the Commons. It sits along the Swamp Rabbit Trail. It's home to 17 local businesses. Richard Marcus Gaston, of course, was the guy to stop by and give us a first look. Ben and Amy, we all have those friends. There's one person that wants to go out to eat and they want Mexican. Another person wants sushi. Another person wants tacos. So what do you do to satisfy all those folks? Well, there's a new place in Greenville that has you covered. Come with me. All right, so we're here. Welcome to the Commons. I'm going to talk to Ray here, who's part owner of the Commons. Good to see you, Ray. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. So what is the Commons? What are the Commons? Well, the Commons is a place where we really have tried to get the best brands that Greenville has to offer together and just create a place where people can meet and greet and eat and drink and, and really just have a good time together. A gathering spot. And of course, Unity Park is coming in this area too. So it's kind of getting a little bit of that momentum too. So there are several different restaurants in here. Tell us what we'll find at the Commons. Oh, wow. You can get just an awesome cheeseburger here at GB&D. We got the South Carolina Bake Room. A sweet two fix over there. That's right. Methodical coffee. And then we got Community Tap Trailside and Automatic Taco in their first brick and mortar place. They're going to get a unique and a just very enjoyable taco experience. They are uh, very different, um, just a lot of different influences from around the globe, and uh, just stuff we try to really focus on the details here. And the cool things about the Commons is that you never know who you're going to run into. Oh, there's my friend Kristen. Hey, Agent Marcus, how are you doing, bud? Kristen eats. She, Kristen is a food blogger in town, an all-around cool foodie, and she's a personal friend. What do you think? I mean, you, you follow food here in town what do you think about the rise of like food halls common eating spaces in, in town well I'm really excited you see them the food halls popping up all around the country we've got them in Atlanta Charlotte Raleigh Charleston and we needed one here in Greenville but if you want tacos there's burgers there's lots of things you can choose from and it's fun for the whole family to come in and just hang out easy way just to make everyone happy at, at one time and of course you know this area too is another opportunity for people to get on the trail and you know just be together and more importantly get off the trail and come get a drink See, i like i like where your head's at so i, I didn't want to do this alone because hey i mean if you're good, it's all about the communal dining you got to do it with someone else so what are we going to eat today what do you want to eat i mean i think we just get everything right there's two people you get you get tacos i'll get burgers and we'll meet back in the middle right and then we can share Sounds like a good plan. Deal. And I'm gone. <laughs> One of the shops in the Commons is the Community Tap Trail Side. I'm here with Chad Music, who's going to give us a little sneak peek of what you guys are offering here. That's right. How are things going here at the Commons? Uh, it, they've been going great. Uh, the response has been overwhelmingly positive. Uh, people are into it. They like, uh, they like what's going on here. So it's been great. So people that love Community Tap, um, the Trail Side offering more of the same? The offerings are very similar. Uh, I think uh, longtime uh, TAP customers will see variations on a familiar theme, uh, but we're also also doing our own thing. All right, so we had to make a stop by Golden Brown Delicious. For someone who's never been to GBND, where you been, first of all, but also like, tell us about some of the, the food you serve. Uh, we serve a little bit of everything. Uh, we're best known for our burger. Uh, I think we've sold close to 22,000 burgers since we've been open. Um, I hear it's pretty I mean, good. Look at look at this tray. Look this look 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 look. This the proof is in the pudding, or in the burger, as we say. <laughs> the burgers are that good. So really, it's about the the communal, the common area, the things we have in common and coming together. Exactly. This is a group of people that's super dedicated to doing the best possible job, using the best possible ingredients, and most importantly, really taking care of people. And that's why I'm super happy to be here. You don't look like you're enjoying those tacos was, at all. No, I, I, I have job. no problems eating. You know, people know that about me. I'm not ashamed to eat. So go check out the comments. It was packed. Of course, a lot of families are in town right now because yeah, they're visiting the area. So it's a great place to anchor. And um, Methodical Coffee is also there. They were voted by Food & Wine as one of the best um, coffee shops in America. Right. Um, um, Automatic Taco was a popular food truck. Now they have a brick and mortar without having all of the necessary overhead of yeah. having a brick and mortar, right? And, and so you have that really support, straight, right, yeah. of all the other businesses. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. So And that's in that unit park area so they're building the big park that's going to be anchored there as well so uh, lots of things oh, gather greenville is coming soon so greenville is getting its second food hall any day now right here at the augusta street it's going to be awesome it has uh oh yeah that's that's 
under right construction here. right yeah, now. It's like, yeah, it's um, like storage containers kind of wow. stacked on each other. So communal eating is a thing. I just watched a story on CBS Sunday morning about communal eating in Greenville. It's hit. So it's yeah. happening. Go check it out. All right. And again, I like like uh, the gentleman off camera asked. <laughs> Where, where exactly? Because I, I think people <laughs> where, may where, have missed where, it. Yeah. It's right. along the Swamp Rabbit Trail, across from the CrossFit. Yes, that's right it's there. on Wellborn Street in Greenville, right <laughs> off of the Swamp Rabbit Trail. If you know where Cross Soul Yoga and all that stuff is, it's across the trail. Yep. But just put it in your GPS. Just <laughs> type it in the comments. No it will take you right there. Well, we're excited. You have some doggies in the studio. I'm sure for a very important reason. We're talking about holiday toys and keeping your pets occupied during the holiday season. I mean, all of these toys I actually want to play with. So <laughs> you guys are going to do it. And they just demonstrated a really cool thing with the dog about if you're going to a rest area, the thing you need to know to keep Ooh. your dog safe. I know we a will lot stay of folks get their uh, <laughs> Thanksgiving grooming, their, their Thanksgiving yes. cup for their pups. they got to get right. their nails done, too. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> also, we have something else coming up, a special story.